Hello, welcome to the Galapagos Islands. This is Trudy with True and Healing Travel. And I am embarking on a 10-day itinerary through four of the Galapagos Islands. And these islands include San Cristobal, Floriana, Isabella, and Santa Cruz. Now I am gonna be creating a video for each one of these islands. So if that sounds like something of interest to you, then check them all out. So let's go see the Galapagos. Our first stop is on the incredible island, San Cristobal, arriving there from the airport from Quito. This is the easternmost island in the Galapagos and known for its large population of sea lions. It's my favorite island for not only the sea lions, but also seeing sea turtles and blue-footed boobies. This island offers the perfect balance of tours, nice restaurants and accommodations, yet being laid back and not overdeveloped. Now let's go see what San Cristobal is all about. Darwin Bay here. There we have the statue of Charles Darwin. <laughs> and next I'm gonna go. There we go. And the, the rock we're going to later to the snorkeling is in the background off to the right. Sea Lion Island. Bay. We are not going to be snorkeling, but you can see the people snorkeling here. Great place to snorkel. And there's the lookout where we were.
but it's cool also here because it's two on the right is a way how we can identify the gender the one on the left is the dad when it's Asian, and the one on the right is the female so two different couples but they take turns for incubation and once they have the babies also they take turns for feeding the baby how we can know if one is a male or female is by the pupil can you see the pupil the small pupil on their eyes is male bigger pupil are females yeah. if you see them standing up and together female is bigger and another difference is when they're making the sound male whistles female is more like a like a horn sound like a like the dog sound something like that uh, so it's very different so just the male whistle and they just together for half of the year so just only six months after that they say goodbye so they don't mate forever just for a time it should be like that short time <laughs> <laughs> they have one two three eggs i can see right now here they only have two but uh, the record is like three eggs but sometimes not all the babies will survive sometimes only one depending how the food supply so if there is not enough fish what happens with these animals is very interesting they call something uh, that is uh, the name is sibling suicide so the bigger sibling is going to be pushing the other siblings outside of the circle even they are just there parents are not going to be feeding the babies if they are not inside the house they need to be inside the circle and then they feed the babies so the bigger baby is going to be three to five days bigger than the other siblings and he's taking all the advantages of that it's pushing the babies outside and they eat everything that only like happens sibling yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it shouldn't be called the sibling sweets uh, the sibling mother and mother that's going to be a better term mm -hmm. but that's what happens only when they don't have enough uh, fish to eat parents they feed fish they come in back over here and by regurgitation they feed their baby incubation can take about like 23 25 days and they lay one egg to the other one with a gap of three to five days so that's gonna be a big difference when we see the baby color fit it was so by scientists that was maybe just like a just a kind of like reaction of what they hit on and after that they were giving the information and they say that the element that they get from their diet, from a kind of fish that they feed on, is the collagen and carotenoid. That is giving them the coloration to their feet. So just reflection of the sun and we can get this bluish or red color. We also have the red footed boobies. Flamingos also, they get the carotenoid from the tree. Uh, we have the marine iguanas, they get also the pigmentation from the algae that they feed on. So those are natural pigmentation. There's only one egg over there to the no other nest. Only one. <laughs> no matter, man. And we call them boobies because you saw that one over there walking like a clown, like a foolish bird. So people they were calling them in the okay. Spanish bobo, bobo bird. And somebody was adding the plural in English and they ended with boobies. <laughs> but that is just mm -hmm. the English name because in the Spanish we call them piqueros because of their very pointed beak. Pico, Piqueros, that is the name. Look at that red pouch. Frigate bird. So cute. Really pretty here. Okay, so we're leaving Seal Rock Island. And we have this, we've made a friend here. So 
I'm walking along the waterfront at sunset in San Cristobal. There's a Charles Darwin display. And you can see the colorful lights here. All right, so there's a bunch of them here. Woo! Hey guys. these flags. I don't know what they all are. I'm sure Ecuador is in there. Oh, let's go walk out on here. Oh, there's a seal. Hey, buddy. See, this is what you get. Now, I probably shouldn't go walk right next to him. That's getting a little bit too close for comfort. But as you can see, oh, look at this little cute one here. Hi, buddy. Taking a walk, huh? Look at them all. Oh, my word. Hey, buddy. I don't want to scare him. I'm going to get out of here because there's people on the other side. Hi. Let's just see. Say hi. Okay, bye-bye. Lights on the trees. I love these cactus here. Oh my God, so gorgeous. Mm. Whew. Oh, this is an incredible walk. So I'm going to be going to have dinner at this restaurant, Midori Galapagos.